today we will discuss about rabbit in structural organization of animals we have discussed about the invertebrate leech and now today we going to discuss about the rabbit a mammal so the rabbit's zoological name is archeotolagus archeotolagus cuniculus archeo to that is archeotolagus cuniculus so we will see the taxonomical position or systematic position of rabbit phylum cardata having backbones subphylum vertebrata class mammalia that is milk producing glands and hairs are present on the body order legomorpha genus archeotolagus and species cuniculus so this they may ask in your two mark write the taxonomic position of rabbit so you have to write this phylum to species phylum cardata sub phylum vertebrata class mammalia order legomorpha genus orchid orchidolagus and species cuniculus habit and habitat so habit means where that is what kind of uh, thing it is living and where it is living what is the habit it will living leading a life okay so the rabbits are gentle and timid animals so gentle means they are soft and calm and timid animals is fear fearful animal so it is fearful animal so it will uh, pass us from one place to in, in a fast and it can be jumped from one place to another place that is the leaping movement is jumping movement and it lives in the burrows okay so the distribution it is seen throughout the world okay so it is an herbivorous animal herbivorous means it feeds on grasses and leaves and vegetables so you can see the vegetables what it takes means tarnets carrots and lettuce this is the vegetables taken uh, e that is eaten by the rabbits and they are eating only the vegetables so we, we can say the rabbits are vegetarian also because it takes the grasses and the vegetables only so the rabbits are gregarious that is moving in groups that is gregarious means they are moving in groups only they won't be alone they won't be move from one place to another place in alone so they, they will move from move in groups that is called gregarious animals so the pygmy rabbit was listed as threatened species in washington in 1990 because of the decline in its population size and distribution due to the habitat loss in march 2003 the columbia basin pygmy rabbit was federally listed as endangered species so in washington 1919 itself the pygmy rabbit is a, is a, is in a endangered threatened species means it going to be destroyed on the world okay and in the, that is and in 2003 the columbia basin pygmy rabbit was in listed in the endangered species so this is the pygmy rabbit you can see this this rabbit was now is in endangered that is it going to be exist in the world that is it is existed it going to be exist it going to be it it, 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 it is not seen in the world so far that is after that so only few pygmy rabbits are there so because of the population and the loss of habitat because the far, we have eradicated so many forests due to that the pygmy rabbits are are in in endangered list so external morphology of a rabbit so you can see the rabbit structure okay and you can see here the head so this is the head region you can see this is the head region and this is the pinnae and you can see the neck region trunk and thigh tail was here okay so the tail was here and you can see uh, that is uh, this region is the foot region that is the foot region and this is the digital region this is the digital region you can see and this is the forearm and this is the hind that is hind arm that is forearm is seen and upper arm you can see the upper arm and the mouth and the eyes are seen in this rabbit okay so size shape and coloration 
so l that is elongated and cylindrical body so the body is cylinder shape and it is elongated so males and females are in same size so there is no variation between male and female they, because they have they are in same size and the length of the body is 45 cm and the weight is 2.25 kg in adult stage the weight is 2.25 kg and the length is 45 cm. So the colors may be white to black and white. So white and white that is white to black. You can see mostly we will see the in white color only. So white to black and white colors. So body was covered that is the body is covered with fur. Okay the fur is seen on the that is on the skin and why it is present means it is, it, is, it keeps the body warm. Okay, so size, shape and coloration. So shape is elongated and cylindrical. So there is no, the same size was seen in male and female rabbits. The length is 45 cm and the weight is 2.25 kg in adult. So color is white to black and white. So body color that is body is covered by fur to keep it warm. Body division. So the body is divided into here you can see the body is divided into head and neck. This portion is trunk and here you can see the tail. So like this the body is divided. Okay. So head, neck, trunk and tail. So first we will see the head region. So how the head is see the head is ovoid, flattened and bears truncate snout. So this is, the shape is ovoid, okay, and somewhat flattened in the front portion. And you can see the snout here, okay, the snout is present in the middle, okay. It contains mouth, external, that is nares, eyes, ears and vribisae. So these are the system seen in the, that is things seen in the mouth, that is head region. Mouth, external nares, that is eyes, ears and vibrisse. So the mouth is transversely slit. So it's transversely like this. It, it slits like this. Okay. Slits and it has upper and lower lip also. And mouth has two oblique openings. So that is called nostrils. That is the nose region. For us it is nose. There you have to say it is nostrils. From each side of the upper lip, upper lip, there is a tactile hairs or vibrisse. So vibrisse means the whiskers. So you can see the whiskers in the this region. That is like this. Uh, it like this. It like he have no. That is called the whiskers. You can see in uh, uh, what is that in cat also the whiskers is seen. So they are projected outwards. So they are pointed outwards. Okay. A pair of large movable external ears and pinnae are situated on the top of the head. So these are the ears and they are seen in the, it is the ear or pinnae seen on the top of the head. Okay. Neck. So neck, the head and trunk was connected and this neck overall for us also it is used for turning. So like that here in rabbit also it is used for turning so so this is this portion is the neck region so this portion this portion is the neck region it connects the head and trunk okay the neck connects the head and trunk and it is used for movable moving the head the movable movable moving the head region okay and the next it is the trunk the trunk is divided into anterior thorax and posterior abdomen so in the front anterior means above the front portion this is anterior means this portion it is called anterior side and this side so it is called abdominal side okay so anterior means the front portion it is uh, uh, thorax region okay and at the back side it becomes abdomen so the front portion it is thoracic region thoracic region and the lower portion, posterior means backside. Anterior means front side. So front side it is thorax and the posterior means backside it is abdomen. 
in females four or five teeth or nipples are present on the ventral surface between the thorax and the abdomen so between the thorax and abdomen that is if in, in female so in female in this position the ventral means lower side in this position between this region is the thorax region and this region is the abdomen region no this so this is the abdomen region and this is the thorax region in between that here you can see the teeth so teeth in only in female not in male okay so it is used to feed the young ones okay and the trunk bears two pairs of pentadactyl limbs pentadactyl limbs means fingers five fingers in the limbs okay so the the two pairs in the trunk that is you can see the so from the trunk region only you can see this arms no this here hind limbs four limb and hind limbs and they have the digitals so the digits are five in number because of that we say it as pentadactylal limbs okay and they have how and that is uh, the four limbs are shorter than hind limbs so the hind limbs are larger but the four limbs are shorter okay and the digits that is how we have nails like that they have claws okay so claws the anal is present at the posterior end of the abdomen at the base of the tail so at the base of the tail the anus opening is seen and that is the back side portion of the abdomen in female on ventral side a slit like valve is present so there is a slit like valve is seen only in females okay and in males the penis is present in the ventral side of the anus so at the ventral means the anus back side there is a penis is seen so the male has a pair of testes so in the penis there is a testis and which is enclosed by the scrotal sacs so where the testis was stored that is sperm was stored in the scrotal sacs tail tail is short and it helps to give signals to the other rabbits in the event of danger so if any danger comes the tail the tail will give signal from one rabbit to the another rabbit like that okay it is very short so this is the external morphology of rabbit integuments that is integuments the skin you, ha you have to talk about the sing skin and it is the outer covering of the body and it has hairs claws nails and glands like sweat glands sebaceous glands mammary glands are present so the mammary glands are the modified glands of the skin and it gives milk it secretes the milk and nourishes means it gives a, a new nourishment to the young ones the sweat glands and the sebaceous gland is seen inside the skin and it is used to maintain the body temperature as in our uh, we are also having sweat glands and sebaceous glands so the same function only is seen here also coelom body cavity so rabbit is a coelomate animal it has the body cavity the body cavity is divided into thoracic cavity abdominal cavity so the, 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 and they have a partition that partition that is like for us also the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity was divided that is it made a partition by the diaphragm same way there also the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity was separated by the diaphragm so the diaphragm is the special feature of mammals so breathing movements the breathing movement can be Uh, brought out by the diaphragm only so when we are sleep in our also when we sleep uh, we can see the movements of the ups and downs in the stomach that was lead by this diaphragm only so in the animals also rab that is in most of the ma in mammals also we can see that movement so the lungs and heart lie in the thoracic cavity and in the abdominal cavity the digestive system and urinogenital system is present so hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel